gotcha, bro. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is where things get really spicy, guys. Next up is the episode Buff for Puff. Now, not a lot of fans like this episode, and there's fair reasons as to why. It takes like five minutes to finally get into the actual plot of the episode, and the plot's like pretty boring itself. There's also not many jokes in this episode, and just the ending is also like kind of lame. But anyways, we're here for mistakes, and this episode has really bad mistakes in it. Here's the first one. Oh boy, this father's dead. This baby shell. One option, boyo. I gotta get in shape before me next date. This was a mistake. So in this scene right here, where Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob come to the gym so Mr. Krabs can get nice and swole for Mrs. Puff, we can see that Larry is like laying down and lifting up a weight. And if we zoom in on him right here, we slow things down and we loop it, we can see that our dude was drawn with no head. Like he has no head. Take a look at this. There's just no head drawn for Larry. As the scene progresses though, we can see that Larry's head is like laying off of the bench. But I mean, look at this shot again. You would still be able to see like his neck or his head hanging off of it. So this was like a major mistake. They literally drew Larry with no head. Like, how does that even happen? And guys, it gets worse. There's more. Here's another mistake from this episode. Let's see if you guys can spot this one. I'll give you a little hint. It has to do with Mr. Krabs's tail when he's in Larry's shell. Can't change your physique in a week. Mm -hmm. See you bros in the sauna. No one can change their physique, eh? On to at the beach. This one is also pretty rough, and it's only gonna really make sense if you understand digital art or animation to an extent. Because as you can see, Mr. Krabs, he's in Larry the Lobster's shell, which is why he looks different here. But he actually walks on his tail, which again, if you understand digital art, is a layering animation error. Mr. Krabs wouldn't be able to just step onto his tail like that. Like, if you really understand what I mean here, you know it's a mistake. And there's still more. Here's another one, and this one's really, really, really bad, guys. Daryl Krabs is quite the hero! Oh, please. I'm not into muscle-bound, self-centered jerks. <laughs> What's that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Larry and I have a beach date tomorrow. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Larry loves... Beach dates. Beach date? So this right here is Incidental 19, okay? And you know, this character hasn't had that many appearances throughout SpongeBob, so I wasn't sure if this was a mistake at first. But take a look at this shot of Incidental 19 right here. And as you can see, this is how her feet look. All right, I know this is kind of weird to point out how her feet look, but this is how her feet look right here. Now, I needed to show you guys that, so that way it's clear that this scene in Buffer Puff is totally a mistake, as at the ending of the episode, the animator forgot to finish drawing Incidental 19's feet. Take a look right here. You can see her feet are not like that. They're not supposed to look like that. Some fish do have feet that are like lines, but they don't look like this. Plus, we have this shot where her feet look like this from previous episodes, from like older episodes predating this one, which kind of proves that in this shot from Buffer Puff, they just forgot to finish drawing her feet and just left it be. Like... <laughs> Looks like a job for... So in addition to SpongeBob season 14 debuting, we also got the next season of the Patrick Star Show. So next up is the episode Superstars. Here are a couple funny clips from this episode. It's a good one. And then we're going to get right into the really bad mistake in this episode. <laughs> Drop 
the bag right now, hooligan. Fear not, very old lady. You're safe from harm now. <laughs> Up, down, and away! This episode's actually pretty good, guys. Like, the Patrick Star Show is getting much better in season two, but it still has mistakes. Take a look at this. The citizens wanted me to stop you! I am the good guy. Why don't we just be the bad guys? Okay, 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 pay attention, Grapple Gang. So when Squidina ties up Granny Tentacles over here, poor Granny Tentacles, if you look, her sleeves were yellow, all right, for the scene. They were yellow, as you can see here. But later on, this just randomly changes, and now her sleeves are white. First, as you can see here, they were yellow, but then why are they now white? Well, I'll tell you why. It's an animation error, a continuity error, it's, it's a mistake. And I told you guys it was bad, but it's not as bad as this next mistake in this upcoming episode. Let's head over to that one. I have an aerosol can, and I'm not afraid to use it. My eyes! <laughs> Happy friend of Mercy Squidward! <laughs> this next episode is another one from SpongeBob season 13. So it's very new. Good old modern SpongeBob. It's full of mistakes. I'm not surprised. The episode is friend adversary. And let's dive right into the first mistake. Grapple Gang, I know you guys can catch this one. So take a look. I'm going to give you guys a hint like I always do. But try to spot it before I reveal the mistake. Okay? Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, happy friend SpongeBob? 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 Happy friend anniversary! So for this one to really hit, I need to give you guys some context, all right? So the Krusty Krab, good old fashioned Krabby Patty, all right? The home of the Krabby Patty. In terms of its design, it has this back door. It's always been there ever since early seasons. So it's not like sometimes they add the back door. It's a part of the design. I mean, just take a look at this shot from the episode Just One Bite. From the early era of SpongeBob, as you can see, there's the back door. Well, whoever animated or wrote the episode Friendiversary forgot about this, as when Squidward arrives at the Krusty Krab in this scene, the back door is just missing. The animators just didn't draw it, which is kind of like a major mistake here in terms of like SpongeBob canon, I guess. You can't just erase the back door of the Krusty Krab from history. Oh, also, if you take a look, the chum bucket is supposed to be across the street from the Krusty Krab, as you can see in some of these shots right here. It's always been across the street from the Krusty Krab. But in that exact same scene, where is it? Because it's gone. The animators also forgot about this. So that's wild, bro. That's like two mistakes in one scene. And guys, I've got more. Here's another mistake. Remember the first time I startled you into this trash can? I go away! Go away! Classic Squiddy. Ah, memories. There's got to be a way to erase it. An eraser! Speaking of things missing in this episode, we have yet another thing that's missing, and that's the path to Patrick's house. As you can see, Patrick's beautiful rock home always has this path right here. But the animators also forgot to draw this in friend anniversary during this scene. So yeah, quite the messy episode. I mean, this episode's great. It has tons of Easter eggs, but it also has tons of mistakes. And so does this next episode we're going to be covering. Hey, this one's a lot worse, to be honest. So let's take a look at this one. Here's the party. 
there's a spot. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Oh, one more time. Nope. That's enough! Next up, we've got Family Plots. A very creepy episode as the plot is all about the Star family playing at a cemetery. I know Halloween just passed, but this would have been very fitting for Halloween, so it's weird that it premiered after Halloween. But anyways, take a look at some of these creepy scenes. Well, where can Patrick be hiding? <laughs> Mortuary. That's a great name for a spa. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. With this amount of skin slippage, this corpse must be at least two weeks old. This will be a tough job, but I will make you beautiful. Yeah, this episode's spooky, dude. I don't know about y'all, but I would never play in a cemetery. Like, that's wild. Anyways, though, mistake time. Let's go. It's time for some mistakes. Let's see if the grapple gang can catch this one. Take a look at this. <laughs> That was the best pre-soup snack I've ever had. I just wish I had somewhere comfier to digest it. I can build something comfy out of these fun blocks for kids. I can't believe this park doesn't have a playground for the children. <laughs> build it. They will come. This one's subtle, but it's still totally a mistake. So after Squidina runs off of Cecil's back to hide, and Cecil looks back with his shirt burnt, his eyebrows are missing. Normally his design looks like this, and he has these eyebrows. And even throughout this episode, if we rewind a little bit, look, he has his eyebrows. So I don't know why in this one shot they were too lazy to draw his eyebrows. Plus, I mean, like, people don't just lose their eyebrows, guys. Like, it's a part of your body. So this was a weird mistake. Um, I'm ready. You know what? What? You convinced me! Grease Trap also thinks you're ready. Really? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Hear that, Spatty? It is finally time. Here's another from SpongeBob Season 13. The episode is Spatula of the Heavens. And honestly, this episode's really good. It doesn't have that many mistakes. It has one, which we're gonna get to. But before that, take a look at some of these funny scenes from this episode. Season 13 ain't so bad, right? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Patties anymore. You what? You better explain yourself, boyo. I need to use my own spatula, not just any spatula. You see, Mr. Krabs, Spatty is very special and very ancient. He was forged deep in the mountains in the far flung land of. Listen up, boyo. You better get back in a jiffy, or I'll just have to give your job to Sponge Tom here. I'm prepared! See, I told you guys, season 13's pretty good. Go watch the episode after you're done watching this video. For now, let's expose that mistake I was talking about. Your true spatula is inside you. Become one with the patties. Every cut is sacred. Let the patties carry you! SpongeBob, that was amazing! Thanks, Mr. Krabs! This one's simple, it's an audio mistake. So, when SpongeBob repeats, let the patties carry you. Let's zoom in on SpongeBob and take a look at him, because his mouth just doesn't move. We still hear his line like we hear the audio, but if we look at SpongeBob, his mouth just doesn't move. Here, take a look again, guys, and I'm going to slow down the episode. You'll really catch it now. Let the patties carry you! See what I mean? His mouth just doesn't move to the audio, which is, again, guys, a mistake. Remember, guys, 2D animation's very hard. I'm probably gonna start saying 
saying this at the ending of every episode, 2D animation is hard, so give SpongeBob a break, okay? It's, it's difficult. I think this episode was potentially rushed or something because there's a lot of mistakes like this in this episode that I'll probably cover in future videos, so make sure to subscribe. But for now, let's keep it moving and keep on exposing these mistakes in SpongeBob season 14. I will say really quickly, guys, I love SpongeBob and 2D animation is always gonna have mistakes. It's just crazy how often it still happens in season 14 when we're in like 2023 going into 2024. But anyways, here's another episode with more mistakes. Hey, SpongeBob, these palms are ready to play some serious patty cake. And you can't play patty cake without cake. Next up, we have a season 14 episode that isn't hated by the community, and that's Sponge Chovy. The community actually like loves this episode, and I agree, it's a really good episode. It's like awesome to see the anchovies again, and it's also fun to see like new locations in this episode, such as the mattress store. The ending is also like really funny, where like Squidward calls a pizza shop to get rid of the anchovies. Take a look at this scene, it's so funny, and then we're gonna get into the mistakes. This episode has a lot of mistakes, and they're bad, but I gotta give it its flowers first, okay? We've been Dragon and just ripping on all of the other episodes. So let's show this episode some love. Take a look at this funny scene. Hey, hey, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Serve as well the pizza! I'd like an extra, extra, extra large pizza sent to the Krusty Krab as soon as possible. Hey, you wanted the pizza as soon as possible? You got it, Calamaro! <laughs> Pizza delivery! Pizza! Mmm! Mmm, that smells good! I thought we'd never snap out of that faux Chovy thing. Yeah, this episode's really good. Go give it a watch after you're done watching this video. But even the good episodes with good writing still have animation errors, and this one has three. Here's the first one. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Okay, okay. Krabby Patty! Krabby Patty! Krabby Patty up! <laughs> Did you guys catch it? Because this is like a classic SpongeBob mistake. They've been making this mistake for years now, so I'm surprised it's still happening in season 14. But this right here is the Galley Grub menu. And if you're a SpongeBob fan, I don't need to tell you, but this is the Krusty Krab menu. It has all of the different items you can order on the menu. Now, it's usually right here above Squidward's workstation and right by the order window, all right? It's usually in plain sight right here. But in Sponge Chovy, when SpongeBob says, hey, someone ordered a Krabby Pie, and begins to just step on Squidward and Mr. Krabs' heads like, ouch. Um, where is the Galley Grub menu? It's just not there. It seems the animators were feeling a little lazy and decided to just not draw it in this shot. Which I mean, hey, it isn't the end of the world, but it is kind of lazy and it should be right there. It's always been there ever since the first episode of SpongeBob. Look, and this isn't the only time it isn't there in this episode, which is kind of ridiculous. Take a look at this scene as the same thing happens. What? <laughs> It's about time, SpongeBob. Late Bob's more like it. When you're done snorting, I'd like to order a Krabby Patty. Okay, hold on. <laughs> One Krabby Patty, SpongeBob. <laughs> SpongeBob, stop that maybe. Are you Joey Bob? It's SpongeBob. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, it happens again when Mr. Krabs overhears anchovies and gets excited thinking he's about to make a ton of money. See, it's supposed to be right there, but it's gone. Now, if you thought those were bad, there's one more mistake in this episode that's really rough. I mean, I'll give them a break because it happens in a scene where there's a lot of movement, but take a look at this. Let's see if you guys can spot it. This one's actually like really hard to spot. <laughs> Me, me, me. 
I will not be surprised if none of you guys were able to catch that one, because like I said, it's very, very hard to spot. But when SpongeBob, Patrick, Mr. Krabs, and a bunch of bikini bottomites who are like under the anchovy spell walk on this electricity pole here, if we take a look at this anchovy right here and pause right here at the right frame, this dude is missing his legs. He's quite literally just like a floating body. Here, the image, I'm gonna rotate it so it's like to the side, and now you can really see it. He's just a floating anchovy body without legs. And if we look at Mr. Krabs over here, he's also missing legs, but to be fair, he's in the middle of his walking animation. So like that happens sometimes. Like I'm not gonna make a big deal out of that. But this anchovy dude over here, homie over here, he should have legs. And they just didn't draw up his legs, which makes sense because it's a large group of people, but it still looks really bad when I pause it like this, guys. So yeah, big mistake here. <laughs> so son, uh, how's the new job going? <laughs> Just as I suspected. But fun! We have blood! Gravy is thicker than blood, Dad! Enjoy the show! The episode Movie Stars is a good episode. I have some problems with it. I'll get into that in another video. But for now, take a look at these funny scenes, as it does have some good moments. One popcorn, please, with a hint of butter. That's good. That's enough butter. No more, thanks. I know you guys laughed at that. Come on, it's funny. But what's not funny is this massive mistake, and this one's bad, guys. You two go tear the ticket and check for people sneaking in outside food. <laughs> Drive-in theater! You've got to set up the next reel! Shh. How do we know which one is which? SpongeBob, I say let the projector decide. Time, Time to watch, watch the, the movie! movie. So, after SpongeBob and Patrick tear off their Usher uniforms, if we take a look at Patrick, his shirt has no flowers on it. In every other shot of Patrick wearing this shirt, there's flowers on it. It's like a part of the design. But during this one shot where they rip the Usher uniforms off, I guess the animators forgot about this or something as they made a massive mistake by not putting the flowers on his shirt. I mean, just look at how barren his shirt looks. And again, here's like a before and after. This is how it normally looks. And this is how it looks when they tear off the Usher uniform forms, which is incorrect. No, 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 no. And guys, I've got more mistakes. Let's head over to another episode. It. Hoops is our favorite kelp bed kid. Next up is the season 14 episode, We Heart Hoops, all about old man Walker's old persona, Hoops, who's actually like a pretty cool character. Now, this episode is also fairly mid. It's better than the last one, but it has its fair share of issues. It's like a seven out of 10 in my opinion. You guys aren't here for a review though. You guys are here for exposing mistakes. So let's expose the first one. Take a look at this. No, it's Old Man Walker again. Hoops? Why did you say so? I'm Hoops. I don't believe it. Yes, it was in the past. I think you're trying to cast one over on us. Hey, what are you, a couple of dizzy ding dongs? Hey, she said Hoops is catchphrase, you dizzy ding dongs. Hoops. Did you guys catch it? Well, this one's an example of just weird animation, and you can only really catch it if you watch it in slow motion. But when Old Man Walker asks if SpongeBob and Patrick are a couple of dizzy dong dongs, I'm gonna start using that insult. If we look at his mouth, again in slow motion, his bottom tooth disappears and then reappears constantly. You can tell what's supposed to happen is that it disappears when he closes his mouth, but I mean, look at this at like 0.25 speed, and you can see the animation's very janky. It just disappears 
appears constantly before he even closes his mouth, which is just totally like weird animation. It isn't necessarily a massive mistake, but it looks pretty bad, guys. Come on. And there's another one from this episode. Take a look at this. <laughs> It's that ruffian Ajax McGee! Let's get back at Ajax! Like, in one of your episodes! Uh, episodes? Yeah, at my age I have a lot of episodes. Who wants pudding? I do! Hold that pudding! We can build our own tank! <laughs> This one is very quick and it's very rough, but during this scene where Patrick and SpongeBob ride these tires, well, let's take a look at our favorite starfish over here as Patrick has no pupils in his eyes. I think it's supposed to be that his pupils are like looking to the left at SpongeBob, but it was very poorly drawn to the point where it literally looks like his eyes just have no pupils at all. Like, look at this, I'm zooming in, I'm making it slow motion, I'm looping it, and it's pretty rough, guys. Like, come on. Like I said though, the mistakes are gonna get worse as this video progresses. We're starting out like Let's head over to another episode with some really, really rough mess ups. It's like, how did you guys even make these mess ups? Let's keep it moving. First up is the episode Sponge Chovy. Like I said, this is a season 14 episode, so it only came out like this month. And believe it or not, your boy Cartoon Cory has already found a mistake. There's only one, but here, take a look at this. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Ah, and now it's Squiddy time. <laughs> the octopus will sizzle. Ah, yeah. Mr. Krabs are bo-chovies? Did you guys catch it? Well, listen closely, all right? It's kind of complicated. So when Squidward locks the Krusty Krab door and leaves the key in the door, as you can see right here, remember, the key is left in the door. Well, in some scenes, if you look, the key in the door is just missing. It's not there anymore. I mean, Squidward literally leaves the key in there. It's like a main plot point. So it's not a big deal, but totally a mistake. Hey, mistakes happen, and guys, we've got more coming up. Let's keep it moving. Do you watch my baby while I run? to the restroom. The baby wants it closed. The baby wants it open. Closed. Open. Closed. Open. First up is the episode Bass Word, an episode all about Squidward and Bubble Bass. It's so cool seeing Bubble Bass again. I love how much he's been appearing in like recent seasons, but it's all about them coming together and needing to tolerate each other. Now, this episode's pretty mid, but it's also pretty good in terms of modern SpongeBob standards. Of course, though, the episode has a mistake and it's a spicy one. I'm gonna play the footage. Let's see if you guys can spot it, all right? Take a look at this. Jet some city, here I come. This is going to be the best weekend ever. Huh? Squidward, Bubble Bass, Get some city! Just stay away from me. Dip to the O. Oh, you! You're taking our two seats! One for each cheek. Did you guys catch it? Well, let's take a look at this shot of Bubble Bass right here. This is an old shot of him, and as you can see, this is his design. And he always has this fin right here. It's right behind his head, and it's been there ever since his first appearance back in the episode Pickles. What an iconic episode. Look, it's right there. Well, in this episode, Bass Word, this new episode from season 14, when Bubble Bass is seen for the first time in the episode, the animators just didn't draw his fin. It's missing, it's gone, which is totally a mistake. I mean, later on in the episode, he does get his fin. But come on, in this one shot, you guys couldn't have drawn it? I'll give him a break. It's 2D animation, which is hard, but Bubble Bass should have had his fin. It's a part of his iconic design. Now, this one was light in terms of mistakes, but let's head over to another episode from season 14 with even worse mistakes than this. It's gonna get pretty rough today, guys, so stay tuned. I'm gonna miss you, Krabby Patty. <laughs> What's happening to me? 
isn't it obvious? You're allergic to Krabby Patties! Our first episode for today is Allergy Attack from Season 13. We've covered this episode in the past, but I've got new mistakes that I found recently. Here's the first one, and let's see if the Grapple Gang can catch it without my help. Alright, I'll give you guys a little bit of a hint, but let's see if you guys can catch it. Mr. Squarepants, how do you feel? Oh, I can't believe it's really happening! This is the biggest day of my fry cook career! I'm sure the patty will be mediocre, but I must be first at everything! Get me that! Get alive, people! It's just a patty! Mwah. If I'm making the gazillionth patty, then you've written a gazillion orders! <sighs> Don't remind me. Come on, Grapple Gang. I know you guys caught that one because it's an audio error, so it was right in your guys' ears. But for those who didn't, there's actually an audio cut, like an audio mistake between Squidward's lines. The lines in particular are get a life people, and it's just a patty. Here, take a look at the clip again and you'll hear it. The audio just like messes up and cuts. Get a life people, it's just a patty. Hey, it's not that big of a deal, but this next mistake is way, way worse. Take a look at this one. <laughs> Come on! Don't miss my expert fry cook SpongeBob! Cooking his one gazillion Krabby Patty! Perch Perkins here, live at the Krusty Krab! Bringing you the play by play on this momentous day! So, this character right here is Incidental 40, okay? He's appeared in many, many episodes, even back in like season four, season three. And as you can see, he has these eyebrows right here. It's a major part of his design. Well, in Allergy Attack, Incidental 40 appears without any eyebrows for some strange reason during this scene where Perch Perkins enters the Krusty Krab. Here's like a before and after. Here's how he normally looks with the eyebrows. And then this is how he looks in this one scene in this episode, which is a very, very weird mistake. And that's not it, guys. I've got even weirder mistakes coming up. These ones were kind of light, but the next episode we'll be talking about has a bad one. All right, time for a field test in T minus three, two, one. Huh? <laughs> My butt! Up next is the first episode of SpongeBob season 14. Believe it or not, there's like four or five episodes already out. It's crazy, man. I remember being like seven years old back in the day watching pizza delivery from like season two or three. So there being 14 seasons now is crazy. But the episode is single cell the defense and this one has two mistakes in it. Here's the first one. Knock, knock. How did you get past me security ninjas? With the art of karate. Now that I can defend myself, your feet are all doomed! Bad news for you, Plankton. I don't have any feet. Just my luck, I guess. <laughs> Six to eight weeks before I can attack the Krusty Krab again. Oh boy! Only six to eight weeks! before I can work at the Krusty Krab again. Come on, Grapple Gang. I know you guys were able to catch that one as it's pretty straightforward. In one scene, as you guys just saw, our boy SpongeBob over here, his mouth just disappears for like a few seconds. Of course, it does come back, but as you guys can see here, I'm zooming in, his mouth is gone. SpongeBob, you love Krabby Patties, bro, so you might want to get your mouth back. You kind of need that to eat Krabby Patties, so yeah. Here's another mistake, though. Same episode. I'm off to go shopping. Oh. Uh, ew, what is that? Pleasure doing business with you. Likewise, my shady friend. So, same time next. I'm here for the formula. Hand it over and nobody get. I seem to have stepped in some revolting substance. Now this one's somewhat of a like common mistake in SpongeBob, especially if you watch Grapple often, you guys already know what's coming. But in this scene where Plankton opens the Krusty Krab doors, let's take a look behind him. As both the Chum Bucket and the road leading to the Chum Bucket are missing randomly. It is SpongeBob canon that the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket are directly across from each other. But in this episode, a season 14 episode as well, which is surprising, the Chum Bucket and the Path are just gone, and they're not across from the Krusty Krab, which is totally, totally a mistake. Hey, Nickelodeon, I love ya, so I'll forgive ya. And let's head over to another episode, guys, with a spicy mistake. <laughs> uh, we're not supposed to touch that stuff. <laughs> we're not supposed to touch that either. Good people have no use for weapons. <laughs> 
<laughs> the only thing I'm good at is being evil. What's that smell, SpongeBob? That, Patrick, is the smell of defeat. Good. I thought it was my skin. Oh boy, Grapple Gang, if you guys know me, Cartoon Cory, if you know me well, you're a longtime supporter of the Grapple Gang and Grapple. You know that I love old school SpongeBob. Like, I like modern SpongeBob. Season 13 was pretty good, and season 14's pretty good as well. But I love the OG era, the Steven Hillenburg era. So let's talk about an episode from back then, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3. I love this one. Here's some funny clips. And then we'll get into the mistakes. This one has some bad mistakes, but let's go back and be nostalgic and take a look at these funny clips. The evil Man Ray is the all-time greatest arch nemesis of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I have so many questions to ask him. <laughs> I, the evil Man Ray, command you to release me from this frozen prison at once. Well, uh, Mr. Evil Man Ray, sir, we can't do that. Why not? Because you're evil. You mean, if I was good, then you'd let me go? Yeah, sure, why not? Then, uh, in that case, I am good. Well, oh, that's good enough for me. Fools, prepare to be eradicated. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Infernal contraption? Don't play dumb, Man Ray. You know that's the Tickle Bell Mermaid Man used on you in episode number 17. As seen in episode 17. Dude, now I want to go back and just watch the episode. But guys, we got to expose these mistakes is what we're here for. Here's the first one and let's expose it together. Try and spot it without my help. I'm going to give you a hint, but try and spot it before I reveal it. <laughs> All right, people! Everybody stand right where you are! Oh! I want you to... Uh... <laughs> no! No! Stop giggling! Give me all of your... <laughs> <laughs> give, give me, give me all of your. <laughs> give, give me! <laughs> the belt is gone, but I still feel its tickle. The urge to do bad is gone. <sighs> I guess I'll just open a checking account. So, this right here is Incidental 7, and as you guys just seen, Man Ray tries to rob a bank by confronting Incidental 7, and at first, she has this beautiful lipstick on in this shot right here. Remember this. She's looking glamorous, but in a shot later, what happened? Where'd her lipstick go? I highly doubt she just took it off mid-conversation. What actually happened is at first, the animators drew her with lipstick, but then in future scenes, they just completely forgot about it, which is a major continuity mistake. I mean, it isn't major, but it's still a mistake. I mean, come on, guys, look at that. You can't just randomly not have lipstick on in a matter of seconds. Anyways, though, here's another mistake from this episode. It's pretty spicy. Excuse me, sir, but I do believe you've dropped your wallet. Doesn't look familiar to me. What? I just saw you drop it. Here. No, it's not mine. This is your ID. Yep. I found this ID in this wallet, and if that's the case, this must be... Your wallet. That makes sense to me. Then take it. It's not my wallet. Oh, you gimbal! Take back your wallet and I'll rip your arms off! Wrong. Goodness lesson number two. You see someone struggling with a heavy package. What do you do? Hello, friend. I noticed you were struggling with that package. Would you like some help with... Ow! You butterfinger pink thing butts in that box anyhow! My wallets. Ah! Oh, SpongeBob, tickle him! <laughs> so, throughout this episode, there is this box right here, all right? Especially in this scene when Man Ray is about to slam Patrick into the ground. Just before this, we can see the box right here. But after this, there's quite the continuity error, as when Man Ray is actually going to slam Patrick, where did the box go? It just disappears. First it was here, and now it's just gone. Where did it go? It's just poof, it's gone. Mistakes like this are just funny, because it's like, how do you draw something and then just forget to draw it again in the same episode? I mean, 2D animation, guys, is very hard, but it's still really funny. Not as funny as this next one, though, guys. Let's take a look at this next one. I'm gonna need to get new pants. No, 
Nope. Ew, not these. Uh-oh. These pants hug my body better than my own mother! You will not believe the mistakes in this episode, and they all have to do with SpongeBob's eyes. Not just SpongeBob, even Mr. Krabs is really funny. The episode is to SquarePants or not to SquarePants. Here's the first mistake. to finish the day's chores. Did you catch it? Like I said, it has to do with SpongeBob's eyes. As when SpongeBob walks away from the dryer, um, his eyes are yellow for a frame. It's just as he's going off screen and it's bad. Like, look at that. Both of his eyes are fully yellow when they're supposed to be white. And like I said, that's not it for mistakes with eyes. Here's another mistake. I am not SpongeBob SquarePants, Mr. Krabs. Do these pants look square to you? They're round. Yeah, so? Did you catch that one? Because it's way more obvious, as when SpongeBob is talking to Mr. Krabs and says they're round, um, his eyes turn green for a split second. That looks gross. SpongeBob, that does not look healthy, dude. Like, yellow is one thing, but green, lime green like that? I'm concerned for our favorite little sponge. Who knows? Maybe he has the suds again. And that's still not it, guys. Here's one more mistake that has to do with eyes. Hello, oh, God, I all day. Excuse me. What are you two doing? I'm used to Squidward sleeping on the job, but I expect more from you, Mr. Squarepants. Man, what is going on with the eyes in this episode? The animators must be playing a joke on us. When Mr. Crab says, I'm used to Squidward sleeping on the job, but I expect more from you, Mr. Squarepants. Look between his eyes. It should be the background of his office. Like we should even be able to see yellow because of the yellow flag behind him. But there's white spacing in between both of his eyes. Like this was just a really weird animation mistake. Like I don't even know how this happened, but hey, it's a mistake and you guys can see it right here. But let's keep it moving and head over to another episode, guys. The mistakes are endless today. Bring that patty here now. Okay, Squidward. Here I come. I'm coming over. I'm bringing the patty to you. Right now. Ah. Uh. SpongeBob. So that last episode was from SpongeBob season 13, the most recent season of SpongeBob. So let's go back in time to old SpongeBob, the Steven Hillenburg era, and talk about some mistakes in the episode, Your Shoes Untied. I love this episode. It's a good one. Any classic SpongeBob I love. Anyways, though, here's the first mistake. Roll the footage. This is the worst service we've ever had. We're going to the chum bucket. Wait, don't go. <laughs> Oh yeah, we are definitely out of here. Yes! Wait! Wait! Let's go! What's the meaning of this, Mr. Squidward? It's SpongeBob's fault. This one is really, really funny. So guys, when the customers start to leave the Krusty Krab in this scene, this character right here, known as Incidental 67, wears a pair of pants that are similar to SpongeBob's, okay? You can see them right here. They're kind of fresh. Look at this guy, Jack in SpongeBob style, stealing his drip. Here's the problem though, guys. When the customers leave, this Incidental's pants just disappear. Where are they? At first, he's wearing in these pants right here, but then in this scene, they're just gone. And again, just like Incidental F9, I highly doubt he took off his pants in the middle of the crusty crap. The burgers ain't that good, guys. But anyways, let's keep it moving and head over to another mistake in this episode. This one's pretty bad. Walk over there. Over there. Ah! SpongeBob! I'm sorry, Squidward. Take another. SpongeBob! Hold it! Let me just... Hold it! What's the hold up? I think my heart just stopped. Now, any hardcore SpongeBob fan like myself knows that this character right here is Old Man Walker. And I mean, it's in his name. He's old. He's an old man. I love the guy, but he's a senior citizen. But I guess whoever made this episode kind of forgot about this. Because when Old Man Walker says what's the hold up to Squidward, he talks in a young man's voice. Here's a clip right here showing his old voice again from another episode. Pardon me, young lady. 
What a fox. <laughs> I hope I don't miss again. He's old, right, as you just heard. Well, listen to his voice again in this episode. What's the hold up? Dude is like a young man again somehow. I don't know how this happened, but this was definitely a mistake, guys. This one's kind of bad, but hey, that's not it for today's video. Let's keep it moving and head over to another episode. Let's go. It's time to clean up your act, Gary. <gasps> I bathed Gary too hard and removed his skin. Man, there's nothing like season two of SpongeBob. It really takes me back to my younger years, especially the episode Gary Takes a Bath, an episode all about Gary, well, as you can imagine, refusing to take a bath. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about this quick mistake that happens in the episode. Roll the footage. Look what I found. It's an old pirate treasure map revealing the location of buried pirate treasure in this very house. Come on, boy, let's go get that treasure. Now you need to be a true SpongeBob fan to really catch this one or even understand it. So take a look at these random shots of SpongeBob's living room and take a look at the wallpaper. It's like this blue design with like bamboo sticks in it. And it's always looked like this ever since season one. Well, in Gary Takes a Bath, we get this scene where SpongeBob is in the kitchen holding up his treasure map, okay? And as we can see, the background is incorrect. We can see the wallpaper of his living room, right? But but as I already said, SpongeBob is in the kitchen. It should actually look like this. The wallpaper is not blue. We know this for sure because the door in the kitchen is in the right place. This means for sure that it's not a shot of the living room. So the wallpaper should not be blue. This was like a weird mistake. I don't know how it happened. It's kind of funny, but let's keep it moving and head over to another episode. Maybe this museum is too low brow for this masterpiece. And take your putrid painting with you. Won't anyone say my precious painting? <laughs> First up is the episode Insecurity Guards, which is actually like a really good episode in terms of modern SpongeBob. You'll actually notice today, guys, a lot of the episodes are from modern SpongeBob, so seasons like 9, 10, 11, 12, etc. Anyways, though, here's our first mistake today from Insecurity Guards. Take a look at this. <laughs> no! Rule number one of guarding is don't let visitors touch them. No touchy, no feely. Aye, aye. And the most important rule of all is don't let visitors steal stuff. If you see anybody suspicious, <laughs> you give them the old stink eye. Okay, so this little dude right here is Monty P. Moneybags, and he's actually somewhat of an iconic character as he made his first appearance all the way back in the episode Artist Unknown from season one, two, or three. I can't remember. I call it bold and bright. More like belongs in the trash. <laughs> Anyways, though, as you can see, this little dude looks like this, all right? He's like orange. This is his main color ever since Artist Unknown. Remember this as this is a big part of the mistake, as in Insecurity Guards, when Monty P. Moneybags is seen from afar, as you can see, he has his correct orange color. But this is where things get tricky. When SpongeBob and Patrick pass by him up close, like what is going on with this dude? What? What? He's mistakenly colored as like a light turquoise, and this is just incorrect. Normally he looks like this, this orange color, but here the animators just made a massive blunder and colored him completely incorrectly, dude. Like, what? That ain't even it for this episode, too, guys. Wait until you see this mistake. Let's see if you can spot it. Oh, boy! An extinct woolly mollusk! Oh, this little guy looks like my Gary. Is that it? Why? Whoa! No! Worst! Huh? Okay, so throughout the episode, for the most part, SpongeBob and Patrick wear these fresh security guard outfits, and my boys are dripping, bro. Like, get me one of those shirts. Look at them. They're so fresh. But anyways, they're wearing these outfits, and you need to remember this as it's important to the mistake. As later on, when Patrick and SpongeBob get spit out by this woolly mollusk, before they get spit out, they're still wearing the security guard outfits, okay? They're wearing this. They go in his mouth, but then when they're spit out, take a look at our boy Patrick over here as he's 
wearing his normal, like, outfit, he's wearing his normal pants, instead of his security guard uniform, which is like a massive continuity error. He's wearing it, but then when he's shot out of the mouth, it's like they just forgot, but whatever. There's still another mistake in this episode. Let's move over to that one. Put on those mistake glasses, and let's see if you can spot it, though. The first exhibit on our tour is... The Employee Walk... Life is so glamorous. Let me just get my key. Put that on. Okay. <laughs> well, how do I look? Now, this one is more subtle. It's not that big of a deal. Real quick, though, take a look at this. This is how the inside of Patrick's mouth normally looks, all right? Remember this, as it doesn't look like this during this one scene in Insecurity Guards, as when Patrick shows SpongeBob the employee locker room, take a look at Patrick's mouth. It's like outlined red for a frame. It's only one frame, and it almost looks like the entire inside of his mouth is red, which is totally a mistake, guys. Like, it's not that bad of a mistake, but it's totally a mistake. Now, if you want bad mistakes, Stay tuned as I've got lots in this video. Let's head over to another episode. I'm so glad you all could make it. Tonight is going to be a magical evening filled with magic. Can we skip the magic and get right to the free money? How about the latte zipping? And what about the pumping of the iron? The real reason I called you here was to watch this slideshow of photos from my family vacation. I knew it was too good to be true. Want to know what would be a ton of fun? Going on a family vacation with SpongeBob's mom and dad. And that's exactly what happens in the episode, A SquarePants Family Vacation. And it's a good episode. The plot is like fire in this episode. But of course, the episode has mistakes. And and here's the first one, guys. Keep those eyes peeled. Let's see if you can spot it. Okay, find me! He can! This one is gonna require us slowing down some footage, okay? Because it happens so quickly and it's very easy to miss. So, when this boat is crashing through the Bikini Bottom Outskirts Mega Mall, there are these two incidentals right here who are walking near the edge. Now, if we slow down the footage as this scene takes place and the crash happens, these two incidentals disappear way too early. You can see they're supposed to disappear a little bit later on, but if you slow it down, you can see they kind of just cut out of there way too early and it is they just cease to exist. They just go poof, and it looks very, very weird. But that's not it for weird occurrences in this episode. This next mistake is even weirder, dude. Look at this. You brought homework? No, Patrick. It's a brochure detailing all the fun to be had at our final destination, the Great Barrier Reef. I can't wait to get there. How about you? No, I can't. Yeah. No, I mean, I really can't. I bet in this confined space too long already, help! All right, boys, all right. Let's turn down the volume back there. Why don't we play a road game to pass the time? Yeah! Anybody know any? Ho, 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 ho! Hide, why does he get to go first? This one is admittedly more subtle, but it's still like a mistake. So Patrick's seatbelt, as you can see here, it's on while he's viewing the map. They're in the car and he has his seatbelt on, you know, that's that's good. Kids, if you're ever in the car, make sure to wear your seatbelts, just like Patrick is right here. But when Margaret Squarepants, SpongeBob's mom, suggests playing a road game to pass the time, um, Patrick's seatbelt just disappears. I don't think the dude took his seatbelt off, but I think happened here is the animators originally drew him with the seatbelt, but then we're feeling a little lazy for this scene because, you know, Patrick has to move around and just didn't draw the seatbelt again, making for a continuity error, a pretty bad one. And that's not it. We've got more mistakes in today's video, guys. Stay tuned. This next one is nutty. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Are we feeling any better? I see you got the flowers I sent. Yes, I'm allergic to them and you. Let's head over to season eight for this next one. I'm talking about the episode Demolition Doofus. Here are some hilarious clips from this episode. It's a funny one. Okay, drivers, let the destruction begin. I can't look. Wait, yes, I can. Ah! Uh, what the hey? What? 
This is not going well. You know, SpongeBob isn't a very good driver, as we've seen over the years, but I guess that kind of helped them in this episode. But anyways, here's the first mistake. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Here's a little hint. It has to do with this character right here, Incidental 41. So what do you say, Captain Lootfish? Will you enter him in the derby? Look out, extra credit. Here I come. <laughs> Welcome to the Bikini Bottom Demolition Derby! The Cruncher! So this admittedly is another nitpick, kind of, but it is still like a blatant mistake. But as I said, Incidental 41, right? So take a look at this scene right here and take a look at Incidental 41's lips. As you can see, they're like a pale yellow. Right here, I'm zooming in, remember the color of those lips. But then in the very next scene, literally seconds later, poof, take a look at the lips now, they're blue. I doubt Incidental 41 randomly went and put like lipstick on or something. This was just a weird mistake. First, they're like pale yellow, as you can see here, and now they're blue. Like what? What happened? The same can be said for this next mistake right here. Let's see if you guys can spot this one. Oh dear, I think I'm in that fellow's way. Engage turn signals. Hand it 10 and 2, and finally, Florida! This one is really, really easy to miss, but take a look at this. As you can see, SpongeBob lifts up his left leg to floor it, all right? He lifts up his left leg. But then, like, in the next shot, his right foot is shown on the gas instead when it was his left leg that he, like, lifted up. Not that big of a deal, kind of a minor mistake, but it's still a mistake, and guys, I've got another one. Check out this. Mrs. Pop, what should I- Why are you still alive? Put it in drive! Thanks, Mrs. Puff, you're the best! So take a look at this guy right here, the cruncher, all right? I don't wanna mess with this guy. I don't want no beefs with this man right here. But anyways, look at him. As you can see, he has these back fins. It's a part of his design. They're on his back. They're right here. You can see him. Well, when the cruncher drives away from SpongeBob after he drives over him and nearly ends his life, take a look at the cruncher's back as those fins are just gone. They're missing. What happened? Fish don't just randomly lose their fins. So this was another mistake. Mistake. They drew him with fins, as you can see here, but then in this scene, they were lazy and forgot about them. But hey, mistakes happen. Grandma is a real live club naughty and witch, but I don't think she likes me very much. I'm Agnes. I've got magical powers of transformation, and I don't approve of this non-magical husband. <laughs> Agnes! First up is the Patrick Star episode, which, which is which. And don't worry, guys, like I said, we're going to be talking about regular SpongeBob, but this episode has a really bad mistake. Roll the footage. I'm here to see my precious granddaughter. You're the daughter of a seventh generation witch, you know. It's time to undergo the family witch trials to test you for magical powers. I don't think I have magical powers yet. When did you get yours, Mom? Well, I never got my powers. I may not have lived up to all of Mama's expectations. First, we'll test your ability to cast fire spells. You'll need a fire wand, naturally. Wow! My own wand! Oh, thank you, Nana. Can I call you Nana? No, no. It's very easy to miss, but okay, at one point in the episode, Squidina gets her wand. And if you pay close attention, as she gets the wand, the button on her shirt turns transparent for a frame. It just becomes see-through, what? I'm sure most of you guys get the mistake, but for those who don't, normally the button on Squidina's shirt looks like this. It isn't see-through. But in this one shot of which which is which, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just see-through. It's transparent, what happened here? I will say, despite the mistake, this is a good episode, but stay tuned, guys, as we're going to keep it moving and head over to another episode with more mistakes. Let's go. If you don't get moving, I'm going to... You're going to do what, sir? Uh, I was going to give him a snaily treat. <laughs> 
Up next is a season four episode, The Scent of Money. Now this episode's actually pretty good. Take a look at some of these funny scenes. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing out here? Oh, you know, unwinding, enjoying the free parking. What's happening to your critter there? I'm not sure, but whenever he does that, he finds change. Change? As in legal tender? <laughs> Shiver me shell wax. You're like a little money detecting, uh, the way, you know, what do you call it? Legal. <laughs> there you go. Bring in that change. Hey, what are you doing with my change? Your change? Anything on the floor be fair game. <laughs> Looks like I need pockets for me pockets. How's it going, boyo? You feeling the coin vibes? You look fine to me. Quit being such a baby and start making me some money. Dude, seeing Mr. Krabs dressed up like a lady like this is so funny. Like, look at this dude. But this scene's also where we can spot a mistake. Roll the footage. <laughs> How's it going, boyo? You feeling the coin vibes? <laughs> You look fine to me. Quit being such a baby and start making me some money. <laughs> oh boy, it, it sure is hard being preggers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so when Mr. Krabs is freaking out at Gary and just being like a psycho and says, now quit being such a baby and start making me some money, Mr. Krabs has problems, dude, what? Anyways, though, as Mr. Krabs says this, the spots and spiral on Gary's shell disappears, like it's just gone. It's so weird seeing Gary like this. I'm zooming in and him with just a bare pink shell is so weird. And it's not the only time it happens in this episode. It also happens during this scene. Well, I never! You never what? Learn to use decent language? Ah! Who do you think you are? Jackpot! Money, 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 come to Papa! Oh, boy! Yeah, so take a look at this during the arcade scene. As Mr. Krabs lifts Gary up, at least the swirl's there, but the dots are gone. A little reminder for you guys, this is normally how Gary looks. He has the swirl and he has these dots right here. But when Mr. Krabs picks him up in this shot, those dots are just gone. Where'd they go? They're missing. Gee, Patrick, I didn't know you spoke bird. No, that's Italian, SpongeBob. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Next up is some more season two, guys. I love old school SpongeBob. I say this all the time. You guys know this, but just old school SpongeBob is the best. Seasons one, two, and three, four is not too bad, but this episode is wormy. I know you guys know this episode. And here is the first mistake. Take a look at this. <gasps> Shoot, looks like a twister hit this place. Hi there, wormy. You weren't supposed to change till I got back. That ought to hold you, little guy. <laughs> Howdy, SpongeBob. Sandy caught the monster. Golly, maybe I should go out of town more often. This first mistake can be found closer to the ending of the episode. It has to do with our favorite guy, Fred, over here, Mr. My Leg. <laughs> Well, if you watch Fred over here as he's carrying Sandy and SpongeBob at the ending of the episode, our boy's eyes become like transparent. They're like see-through, they become like gray pretty much, but that's not how Fred is supposed to look, guys. That's just a weird mistake. It's only for a frame, but it's still a mistake. And there's more. Here's mistake number two. <laughs> What might have happened if we didn't tell everyone about the monster? About the what? <laughs>
This next one is just funny. Like this is, I don't know how the writers or animators made this mistake. It's cartoon logic, so it's fine. But during this scene, we can see that SpongeBob and Patrick are running away from Wormy terrified, along with a ton of other Bikini Bottomites. And if you look closely, we can see that the city, Bikini Bottom, is like destroyed. <laughs> it's just destroyed, all right? Havoc has been ensued. Here's the thing though, if you watch the episode as it progresses, okay, when everybody reaches the traffic light while being chased, take a look at the city now because it's like perfectly fine. Before this, it was destroyed like seconds prior. Like look at this, like this place is destroyed, but now it's just perfectly fine. So this is a bit of a weird continuity error. Again, it's cartoon logic, but just, yeah, it's kind of funny. It's totally a mistake. And here's another one from this episode. Let's see if you guys can spot it. So going back to the scene where all of the Bikini Bottomites are being chased by this monster over here, this worm, this butterfly wormy, we have another mistake as we want to take a look at Incidental 7, okay? At first, her dress is yellow. You can see right here, it's a beautiful yellow dress. But this dress just randomly changes colors in the matter of seconds. It changes from yellow to gray, as you can see right here. I'm zooming in, and now her dress is just randomly gray. I mean, it's pretty, but it wasn't originally gray. It was yellow, and yeah. I've got one more mistake for this episode, guys, and I'm going to make it really quick. You have no excuse for missing this one because I've done a similar one in this video. Watch. Hi, Sandy. Oh, wait, you forgot about this pet. Oh, that's only worry. He don't eat much. Were you guys able to catch it? If so, I'm very proud of you as take a look at the acorn badge on Sandy's suit. Just like pre-hibernation week, throughout this entire episode, it is black as opposed to this, the regular color as you can see here. Throughout all of Wormy, it's this color, it's black, which, you know, that was the same thing in pre-hibernation week. So if you guys caught it, I'm really proud of you guys. But anyways, let's keep it moving and head over to another episode. <laughs> It appears to be my lunch hour. Ooh, grown ups have to eat too. I guess this will have oh, to do. You don't want this baby food. How about a big piece of steamed coral? Oh, yeah. Uh, gray. Nutritious. All right, so I know some of you guys like hate the Patrick Star Show. So to like rinse your mouth out, all right, to cleanse your palate, here's a good old fashioned SpongeBob episode. I'm talking about Grandma's Kisses. This is like such a good episode. So much so that we're gonna get into the mistakes, but here are just some funny scenes from the episode. It's so nostalgic. You know how grandmas are. They love babies. You just can't act like a baby around her. You're right, Patrick. You're a man now, SpongeBob, and it's time you started acting like one. First, puff out your chest. Now say tax exemption. Tax exemption. This is it. What are you gonna tell Grandma? I'm a grown-up. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. And then you get behind her and I'll push. Patrick, we didn't say that. I am glad you see it my way, Grandmother. Well, I'm glad that's settled. But what am I going to do with all these fresh baked cookies? Sorry, Grandmother. We adults don't partake in the consumption of sweets. Right, Pat? Trick? Keep them coming, Granny! <laughs> So much for no more baby stuff. See, I know we've got a lot of younger viewers on the channel, but if you were watching SpongeBob back when I was watching it, like in the early 2000s, this episode was a banger. It's a really good episode. But even bangers like this one have mistakes. You guys know the drill. Keep those eyes peeled and take a look at this. You don't have to be a baby to get old grandma's love. I don't. Of course not. <laughs> and remember, you can kiss your grandma and still be an adult. Here you go. Thanks, Grandma. Could you not mention this to the guys down at the Krusty Krab? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Alright, you need the eyes of a hawk to really catch this one, and it has to do with colors. So, when Squidward and the Krusty Krab customers are seen amusingly laughing at Spongebob hugging his grandmother at the end, it's so lame. There's nothing wrong with loving your grandmother or your mother, guys. There's nothing wrong with that. But anyways, when Squidward and the gang are roasting Spongebob for it, they're just making fun of him, there's these two incidentals right here. Now, throughout the episode, and just normally in general, they're blue, alright? But for some reason, at the ending, they're green and purple. Like I said, normally they're blue as you can see here, but then these two incidentals just randomly change colors at the end and turn to green and purple. If you actually know how incidentals work, you know this is a mistake. These aren't different fish, they're the same fish, just these types of mistakes happen sometimes. Especially with incidentals, but let's keep it going and head over to another mistake, guys. I know you guys can catch this one. Thanks, Grandma! SpongeBob, you forgot your kissy kissy. I sure did. <laughs> Bye, Grandma. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Isn't this great? Everybody's in a good mood today. They're laughing at you, not with you. There's nothing wrong with getting kisses from your grandma. No. Especially if you're a big baby who wears diapers. <laughs> <laughs> This one is very similar to the last one. So in the first shot, Clayton over here is azure, all right? You can see he's this color, look at him, all right? Look at him, remember this. Then in the second shot, he's now violet. He's just changed colors entirely. But then it gets even worse as in the following shot, our boy changes colors again and is now this color. So just, yeah, another messy one, dude. Like the color changing mistakes aren't that big of a deal, but they are. Like a character doesn't just change colors, guys. That doesn't happen. Hey, SpongeBob. How's it going? How are you, Sandy? Hey, listen, I was wondering if you could come by tonight. Sure, what's up? I whipped up a new invention that I'm gonna unveil tonight in front of my comrades and I need you to be my test subject. I will be there. Next up is another episode from season six, that being overbooked. This episode is all about SpongeBob being, well, overbooked. The dude just doesn't have time for anything. It seems though that the animators also didn't have time as they overlooked a couple of mistakes in this episode that I'm about to expose. Roll the footage. I gotta use the laboratory. I'll be right back, I'm back. <laughs> Happy birthday! No! You finally made it! <laughs> well, just leave my present over on the present table. <laughs> Your present? Well, what are you waiting for, buddy? Serve up the cake so I can tear into that present. I must have left it at Sandy's. You took it to Sandy's? No! I set up the bakery delivers, isn't that hey? All right, so when Patrick's Rock first opens in this scene, take a look at his party hat, okay? It's red. You can see it right here. Remember, it's red. However, in the next scene, this randomly changes. Like, coloring mistakes like this are hilarious when it just randomly changes. As it was red, but his party hat now changes to purple. Like, what? What's going on here? Like, how does it just change colors randomly? That looks like lazy animation to me, and that's not it for this episode. Here's another mistake. I give you... gives a single laborer the productivity of five, six, seven, up to eight workers. Without further delay, I shall initiate Proto Sequence. Uh, Sandy, I hate to delay the proceedings, but uh, I forgot to mail in this mail-in rebate and uh... Well, I'll be right back. This next one is just bad. Like, I don't know how any animator that understands SpongeBob and its characters could make this mistake. As you guys know, take a look at these shots of Sandy Cheeks. Our girl Sandy has a big furry tail. It's a big part of her character because she's a squirrel and squirrels have tails, right? Well, in Overbooked, the animators forgot about this as when Sandy says, without further delay, I shall initiate the proto sequence, um, her tail is missing. And it's not because of the angle. They just were too lazy to draw Sandy Cheeks' tail. Give my girl her tail back. She needs it. And guys, there's another mistake in this episode. Roll the footage. Uh, oh, hey, Patrick. What are you doing in town? I was just buying some birthday hats for my birthday party. Hello? My birthday cake! Oh, yeah! That! I was I'm just getting to that! I'm gonna go get your cake, you silly guy, you! 
it's really easy to miss, like very easy to miss, and shout out to our editor Josh for finding it. But before SpongeBob walks away to get a cake, man, now I want cake, guys. I'm hungry. Cake is so good. But as he walks away to get a cake, take a look at his left leg as it's entirely white for a split second. I mean, don't get me wrong. SpongeBob's socks are supposed to be white, but his leg is supposed to be yellow. So this was another just really bad mistake. This episode's pretty rough in terms of mistakes, guys, but let's keep it moving and head over to another episode with even more spicy mistakes. You don't want to miss them. Uh, Mr. Krabs trusted me and I let him down. This used to have the Krabby Patty secret ingredient inside, but now it's missing. What? Someone stole it, Patrick, and we need to find out who. Okay, up next is the Patty Caper from season six or the Patty Capper. Here's some clips from this episode. It's really funny. You Bob Pants? Uh, SpongeBob. Close enough. Now get out of here, kid. And now, let's get you into the Krabby Patty secret ingredient. <laughs> no! What's gonna happen to the Krabby Patty secret recipe? <laughs> What's this? A hole? Almost as if someone did this on purpose. SpongeBob! What are you doing lollygagging about? Get back to work! <laughs> right away, sir. This first mistake is really funny. I don't know how this mistake even happened. Roll the footage. Only someone who specializes in science could reverse engineer the recipe based on the secret ingredient. There she is. Oh my gosh, it is Sandy. I was just storing food for the impending winner. What one? I'm on to you, squirrel. You thought no one could figure it out, but I pieced it together. Perhaps I walked into the Krusty Krab, purchased them, and received a receipt for these legally obtained patties. So as you know, the inside of Sandy's tree dome has air and water can't get in, right? But at one point of this episode, SpongeBob digs a tunnel to Sandy's tree dome underground. But for some reason, the tree dome does not fill entirely with water via the tunnel. Despite the fact that the water flows into the tree dome, it likes stops when this should have flooded Sandy's entire tree dome, guys. They're under sea, and this made an opening from the ocean into Sandy's tree dome. It wouldn't just fill with a little bit of water. They would drown. So yeah, I don't know what happened here, but here's another mistake. We ran out of the secret ingredient to the secret formula. Any minute now, a truck driver is going to arrive, and I'm entrusting you to retrieve the secret ingredient. It's time. Make sure to guard it with your life! I won't let you down. Wait! Yes? If something happens to that secret ingredient, don't bother coming back to work. Yeah. You need really good eyes to catch this one, as when the red lights flash at the Krusty Krab for a split second, okay, it happens really fast. If you look at the customers, you can actually see through them. The customers become transparent. You can see right through them. Each time the red light starts to fade, this one you'll need to see it in slow motion. We'll also have to stop the frame. But yeah, they're see-through when, as you know, people or fish, I guess, shouldn't be see-through. Totally a mistake. Hi, it's not me! It's Gary! Larry! That lousy monster! Larry, you meathead! Whatever you're doing, stop it! I need my sleep! <laughs> Season 13's Gary's Playhouse is another banger of a season 13 episode. Like season 13's got that good good. Here, I'm not gonna give you guys like a plot summary, but here's just a quick little compilation of funny moments in the episode. Come on, buddy, it's late. Time to go inside. Mom, you wanna spend the night in your new playhouse? Aw, that is so cute. Where do you get a door? What? I've ever seen. It's okay. I can't breathe. I need water. What's that? Is that supposed to be me? Oh, that's it. That's. 
The cutest thing I've ever seen. What are we bummering about? Dude, like I said, this episode is a good one. Go and watch it if you get a chance. But before that, here's one mistake from this episode. I'm going to go easy on this episode because it's a good episode, but there is one mistake. Take a look at this. SpongeBob! Squidward! Where were you two yesterday? Mr. Krabs. All right, so the galley grub menu, right? We were talking about the Krabby Patty spelling before, but what if the entire menu was just missing in a shot? Well, that's exactly what happens in Gary's Playhouse during this one scene right here. As as you can see, the galley grub menu is just gone. Like, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe, uh, maybe the Krusty Krab is moving into mobile orders or something, you know? Uh, I'm showing an image of these like little kiosks at McDonald's. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe Mr. Krabs, he's ahead of the curve, but I think they just forgot to draw the galley grub menu and uh yeah that's a bit of a mistake guys don't tell anyone all right now that's going to do it for today's video guys i love you but if you want more spongebob content more spongebob mistakes click this video right here as i dive into tons of just unbelievable spongebob mistakes in this video crazier mistakes than the mistakes i just mentioned and the video you're watching right now so click it click the video do it click it click it click it if you click it i'll come to your house right now and i'll bring you a pretty patty all right so click the video do it i'll see you over there peace